welcome each and every one of you to episode number 19 at my last episode of my KOF 14 Trials video series. And this might be a little bit longer one because we are doing one character more and they are all kind of complicated. So we start off with Blue Mary, my personal favorite character in the game. She's super cool and she's pretty good. And I can tell you what is good about her. So first of all, let's just right away just talk about how she plays. So she has a command grab. So that like, uh, it goes like that. You have invincibility while she's doing this annoying hey. And you can grab them. So basically what you can do with that is you can dodge an incoming attack and just grab them right after. Or just dodge and then try to do a normal hit confirm. Um, so the next thing is she got really good normals to extend her combos. Because she has her forward light, which is this overhead. And she has her forward or backward light kick, which is doing this two hit string with a mid and then a low. So obviously that low... It's pretty predictable because she always does that uh, mid before, but you can cancel into other specials from there. Into an overhead or into a low. And yeah, she got pretty good mix-ups and also, and that is pretty insane, her damage gets completely crazy. Her damage co gets completely crazy once... Um, you spend even only one bar. Like, like her, her combos can get so massively... It's, it's disgusting. Um, I'm, I haven't played her for a while, so I'm a little bit rusty. Basically... Like, oh, uh, she also has, uh, like, where's that? That one, the down forward light kick. It's this weird launcher um, that you can use for combo extension because you can cancel it into your DP. So, this fireball, this, this, oh, wait. I did the DP. Yeah, she has more mix ups. She has this jumping command grab that is uh, pretty good. That you can do instead of just your fireball. That they look uh, kind of similar in the starter. So uh, yeah, and kind of what you want to do is oh, I messed that one up. I'm, I'm just really bad with combos with her right now because I haven't played the game really much uh, lately. But basically what you want to, what you can do is you can string together stuff like that. And then you can, off of that you can go into your fireball uh, special, into this one. Oh wait, not the DP, the fireball, but the EX version. And then you, you can catch them into that one and go do this and like, if you do the full combo. Like, uh, oh yeah, that that worked. I mean, you you get the idea. The full combo does insane damage for just a one bar combo, and you can do more stuff like two bar combos get completely insane with her as well. So basically she's a super good point character because she has really good mix-ups overall um, in like she, she has good moves on to get in. She has a really abusable um, jumping heavy kick. Like that thing is really good. That is just that is just a super good normal and uh, yeah, he, her... Oh, by the way, I could cancel versus heavy kick with uh, max mode in the last episode, if you remember that. But uh, hers I cannot. Now I want to get into the trials. 
after uh, she has this charge move and the char this charge move has a follow up and then I can do like a little command grab if I hit the um, the slide in. Oh, and then I go into uh... okay. There we go. Uh, okay, now I'm doing Oh, now I'm doing the thing again. Oh, yeah, there I can. I can now um, actually extend the combo with the down forward light kick in between the both EX specials. I did not do it though. <laughs> Because uh, for some reason I just like I my brain just shut down for a moment there. Okay, I just try that again. Oh well, I didn't do the EX kick, but doesn't matter. Okay, let's uh, just uh, continue with the try. So this time we do this thing. This thing I did before. Oh, I want to do the both double hits. Oh, and then I do a super. That super looks so cool. Oh, I'm doing that combo again, but this time with the level 3 in the end, I guess. Uh, oh, I need to do the heavy kick version. Wait a moment, can I just uh, do like... Can, can I... Uh, Man. Okay, I'm doing half circle forward, half circle back. So, what I want to do right here is uh, the charge, the back forward heavy kick. I can just charge it up and then do half circle forward and that should work as well. And if I do half circle forward, I already have the quarter circle forward in the end of the half circle forward for the next super, so I then just need to do a half circle backwards. So that's the idea. <laughs> And it works. And there we go into a level 3. I just smashed that by the way. So yeah, I just like everything about her. I love grappler characters. I like her design. And um, she's just super fun to play and she like her potential, her mix-up potential, to, like she's a super good point character because she just does crazy damage with one bar or even with no bar, she does pretty good damage compared to other characters in the cast. So yeah, she's really really good even with low amounts of meter, so definitely a character to look out for. And if you like kind of grappler characters with a little bit mobility and mix-up potential there, like you might want to pick her up. You need a point character. She's not that hard to play, so she's really good. Now, Nash. First of all, I love Nash's theme. Her theme is godlike. I love the theme. Um, obviously, I uh, I'm kind of biased because I'm into metal and rock, and this uh, theme kind of goes into the rock direction. So yeah, I really like this theme. Anyways, so she is a Wrecker character, but her Wreckers are super weird. Her Wreckers are super weird because basically her Wreckers are, are parts of bigger motions that you know from other moves. Like here, the Wrecker we do is we do quarter circle forward, then a, a half circle backward and then forward. So that is basically this 
the super motion that we have a lot of times with the squat circle into half circle in the different direction but then combined with the perhaps the motion where we do the half circle and then we push into the a different direction so we basically just do this huge quarter circle forward half circle forward forward pretzel special super motion and we just have to press buttons precisely while we do that also a forward walk kind of is floaty in the beginning of the animation but that looks super weird anyways let's just try this out so she has a four hit close up heavy that's just super cool by the way Okay. there we go and her combos are super stylish because of that because like every time she does a special she just strings them together into different stuff like most of the time here we didn't do it but that is the idea she, she is in my opinion the coolest designed wrecker based character that I have ever witnessed in any game Like that is. Uh... Oh yeah, and then I have to jump and do the double heavy slash. Okay. Uh, by the way, that command grab, the X command grab, absolutely sick. Absolutely sick. I love. There we go. I love everything about this character. Like not not uh, not everything necessarily, but. I think this is an extremely cool character, one of the best designed, uh, the coolest designed characters in the game, and yeah, in general, just a super cool character. I'm really thinking about picking her up uh, in the future. I mean, the game doesn't really have a future anymore, but I don't care. Oh boy, man. Maybe I have to... Okay, so the trick here was uh, after the max mode cancel, I needed to wait a moment to get a little bit closer to the enemy because there's a range where I already have my close-up heavy uh, punch but um, it, like after after the heavy punch I cannot come into the command grip because the pushback pushed them too far away so I had to just let a little gap there to so that my character runs a little bit closer okay now we go get another of those wrecker shenanigans and then I go into supers there we go. That worked out quite well. Uh, but for some reason it didn't work. Oh, I think I did the level 1 super. I did level 1 again. Oh, I needed to cancel earlier. There we go. So, um, to be quite honest, I don't really know too much about um, how to play Nash competitively. Because, uh, like, after she came out, there, like, KOF wasn't on Evo anymore, and, like, not too many people picked up on her while, like, tournaments were still running. Um, but what I feel like is her most basic combos deal quite nice amounts of damage and she has some really good normals and specials for the neutral game and also like at least with the command grip she can mix up people a little bit so I don't know how much her damage escalates once she has meter but I guess she's definitely an okay point character or maybe a character in the middle and um, yeah Overall, I feel like especially like her meterless damage is pretty okay because like she has those long wrecker strings that you can abuse to just boost your damage in <coughs> neutral. So let's go with Haida next. 
<coughs> so Haidan is the father of Leona. And uh, he surprised me a lot because Leona isn't necessarily a character that I like to play too much because her gameplay style is just not my thing. And from what I uh, you could see in the trailer when he was announced, um, he would be kind of similar to her. So she has he, he has some very similar moves like he also has this one, this down up charge. Um, and he also has like a... Oh, no, not also. He has a pretty cool projectile that is very guile-like. But um, actually, he's super cool, and I really like his playstyle. He is a very mix-up heavy, high mobility character. That like he has a lot of stuff in different directions. I think he is definitely a, a anchor because once he has meter, he can escalate completely. Like with stuff like uh, his uh, EX projectile, super slow. He can just dash in with it. And he can, like he has this command dash that that hits low and crosses up uh, and like it, it's completely insane. Like and you can combo after that. Like once he has meter, he can escalate absolutely. Not only damage rise, but also his mix-ups and his mobility get completely out of control. He also has this. Uh, I don't know how uh, to do it. Oh, it's it's not this one. Um, Oh, that's his level three. Let's see. Um, let's go into the command list and just check his uh, super specials. Um, oh, it's double fireball backwards punch. So this one. Also, like, did you see that? I hit him. I can I can move around after I hit him. So. I hit him there, but like, let, let's get completely crazy. Let's get even crazier. Wait. Like, I I didn't do it com uh, correctly actually. Like, <laughs> look at this nonsense. <laughs> like, this character can get so much out of control once you have some meter. His setups are absolutely crazy. And he also has, like, this uh, really good jump in. I need to see which one was it. It was this one. So, because this one... That's, that's not only a requirement for his max damage combos, but also it can cross up. But it just it's just really hard to see when it crosses up and when not. There's really good hitbox. Like... That can mix people up very, very good. And you can, like... You can go into a full damage combo after that one. So, okay, having said that, let's get into the trites with him. I really love this character as well. He just... I thought he w would play more like Leona, but he's so mu he is so much cooler. To me, he feels so much better. Okay, now this one's kind of hard. Because uh, I need to do, like the down up and then immediately afterwards I need to there we go and this super looks super cool the level 2 version of that super also is super cool oh also yes the, his DP is not a like his DP motion punch it's not an uh, anti-air it's like this like finger snap and that's like a good combo ender to push someone off in specific matchups uh, maybe you want to get them off but also why this I love this move a lot EX version wall bounces and I mentioned that a lot of times now I love wall bounces and oh I just see I need to do that in this combo there we go easy combo but pretty cool also what I like is his forward light kick which is his standard combo extension move um, hits double so that means um, you got more time to do inputs and stuff kind of like similar to how double hit uh, close up moves work oh yeah and his close up heavy kick is low so that is pretty sick as well that's a low I mean you can start off a really sick combo of a low 
it's like I love this character. He's so cool, and I think he's really, really fucking good. Um, son. Need to do the EX version. EX version, please. Oh yeah, and he has a command grab as well. By the way, I'm not 100% sure if this is a command grab or a hit grab, to be honest. It's overall a really good combo ender. But uh, if it's actually a command grab, it's also a pretty good mix of two. Oh, damn it. Need to time it a little bit better. But yeah, that combo is also pretty cool. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, damn it. Mm. Okay, that one is hard to land. Maybe I need to, like, just walk a little bit forward, just a bit. Just try that. Let's just try that. Yeah, we had to walk just a little bit forward. So that made the combo kind of hard. But I love this combo. Like, the war bounce into this hit grab, command grab thingy. Like, where you stink them and then launch them to the other side. I think that looks super cool. I love this character. I mentioned that a lot of times now. I think that especially the last four DLC characters are so fucking cool. Oh, and then I go into that uh, super. That is the super version of my of that command grab, which is this one. But the level two version, which is super cool, and it is doing this one. And then I can go into this. It's super cool. Like this super transition, like where he launches the enemy upwards and then like jumps up and snip. Like it's so cool. Also, I think his uh, level 3 is a grab. I think that is a grab. Okay. Okay, um, what do I have to do? I have to do this one and then I... Oh. Why can't I do it? Okay, that is how I do it. I just smashed it, but it works. I mean, thing with him is, um, I think he's an advanced character. So uh, I, I'm just going to talk about the characters anyways later on. But the thing with them is his combos are really cool. But the combos aren't even his, his strong side. His strong side is his really strong neutral, his high mobility, super good mix-ups to tools. And he got crazy setups. Like the EX projectiles that he throws, his projectiles in general are really good. But the EX version, like it has so many hits, has so much combo potential, and you can walk in with it, you can do, use your command dash while it flies, like it has so, you have so many options of that. Um, you have to keep in mind with him though, your command dash won't cross the enemy up when he's in the corner, it actually won't hit him then. If there's no space behind the enemy, you don't get behind them, and you can only hit them when you get behind them with the dash. So when the enemy's in the corner, your dash does not work. But yeah, he got so much stuff going on for him. I really love this character. Now, let's go to Oswald. So, Oswald was a little bit of a disappointment to me. Don't get me wrong. He's a super cool character. I, I love his design. And he also plays pretty cool. Like, he has a cool playstyle. He is really good. He is really good, by the way. Um, like, he has, like, his uh, short hop. I think short hop 
uh, I think it was a short up heavy slash or something like yeah it's, 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 it's that one is a really fast overhead it's really hard to react and you can cross them up with it as well like look at that you can how can you tell the difference between these two it's uh, getting you super hard and he can transition into big combos with that so and he's definitely um, <laughs> just look at how he moves he's so cool he also got good setups he got really good damage especially with meter he's an anchor as well as Haydn and he was actually picked up pretty fast by some of the highest level players in the world and you could see a lot of stuff from him on Evo Japan last year this year this year okay so let's get into his stuff he I think he also got some wreckers yeah there we go he got some wreckers and he has those cards uh, oh he has some like real card setup stuff that he can do like this one I don't know how to do it oh it's that one the DP and he can do that on different ranges that is a good setup on wake up and he has one super where you can do a weird follow-up thing after the super I think no it's not this one okay um, but he has a fireball I don't know <laughs> I don't know man okay <laughs> Oh wait, um... I, oh, I think it's it's actually this one. It's super weird. Ah, oh, damn it, I messed it up. So... Damn it! Uh, maybe I have to. Maybe he crossed me up and I have to do it in a different direction. Oh, I hit him with this this time. Uh. Man, this is so... Okay, that's a double hit. Let's, let's uh, just di dissect this. Okay, this uh, this is the quarter stack forward with two kicks. It is uh, doing the wall bounce. Half circle backwards is a double hit. So I do half circle back, a quarter circle backwards, and then a quarter circle forward. But I need to wait for the two hits. Okay. And when I launch them, I can do this. Okay. Um. I think I need to hit it like that. Damn it. Okay, okay, okay. Almost. What exactly is going wrong here? Ah, oh, there we go. There we have the little cinematic thing. Okay, I, I think I just needed to hit like some kind of sweet spot or something like that. Okay, now we go into the crazy wrecker stuff, as we can see. Okay, quarter circle backwards with uh, heavy punch. Okay, we do everything with heavy punch. So we do... Okay, we do quarter circle backwards heavy punch, which is a double hit again. After the double hit, we do fireball forwards with punch, 
two times. And then, so... And then we go into that super, and then into the different super. Okay. That is the first part. Mm. Okay, now I need to learn that cancer. It seems not to be mashable. Let's play the demo and just see when exactly he comes on to this level 3. Okay. He cancels it into it kind of mid attack. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, did not do it. Now that cancel It's not that easy. Man. Mm, I think I always do it a little bit too late. Damn it, I'm ca I kind of just want to mash it. So hard. I mean, the motions before kind of make me dizzy already. <laughs> so it's like the double fireball into half circle backwards, and that's kind of weird to me. There we go, did it. So, um, just want to say, when I, when I started to play him, I said like he was kind of a disappointment to me. So the reason for that is, he looks so fucking cool. Everything about him looks absolutely amazing. But his playstyle overall just doesn't go too well with me. That's a shame in my opinion. I think that's really sad. I really love his design, but I'm just not feeling it when I play him. Haidan, on the other hand, was the exact opposite. I thought he wouldn't be my guy, even though I thought he's pretty cool, but I thought most likely not my guy, but turned out he was absolutely my guy. And this guy that I thought was my guy is not my guy, which is sad, because I really love his design. Okay, but now let's see. We do the exact same thing, but we instead of doing a heavy punch, we do a heavy kick and then forward light punch. Oh, his heavy kicks are also card moves. So only his uh, light kick button does actually kicks. That's interesting. Okay. Okay, this should be a little bit easier because I think like I can I think I can mash this one. Yes, I can mash it. By the way, I also think that he is definitely inspired by Jojo, based on like his stances and stuff like that, the way he, he moves. But I also think that design-wise, he really reminds me of Helsing, like the glasses from Alucard, the overall butler-like design from um, the butler in Helsing. I forgot his name. Was it Alfred or something like? No, the Alfred was the one in Batman. Fuck. <laughs> um, then like 
also in, in his climax super the way he at first like just uh grabs the enemy by the head and just pushes them to the wall really reminds me of how uh, alucard at some points like overpowers people and just like grabs them by the face and throws them against the wall by the way after that he just pierces them with his hand like but that is a move that Haydn does so I'm pretty sure like whoever designed <laughs> this character was a Helsing fan and a Jojo fan definitely okay so that's all for the DSC characters let's let's talk about them a little bit the DLC characters are all kinda on the harder side. I think she is, out of them, the easiest to play character. Um, she's a really good point character, as well as Nash. They are both kinda... We can, we can just discuss these two at first and then the other two, because they kinda fit the same role. So these two are pretty good point characters. She is a little bit harder, execution is kinda harder with her, and... Um, her neutral game is a little bit different, it's, it's a little bit harder with her, everything is kind of straightforward and she got really good combos, some of her, um, ha uh, when you really want to optimize the combos they get a little bit harder execution wise, but some bread and butters you can learn pretty easy with her. Um, you have to work around zonas though, because your limbs are not that big, I mean you have this really great jumping heavy kick, but other than that. You, you know it's kind of lack a little bit uh, range mostly or they are slow um, so you definitely can struggle in certain matchups zoning matchups and also like some heavy hitters or grapplers can make uh, can be a big problem for her but overall she definitely is someone you can kind of pick up into almost any game as a point character she's pretty good at that Nash is a little bit harder, but also a really good point character that can dish out some damage even with low meter or just uh, no meter at all. Um, I can't really tell too much about how to play her neutral game though. I feel like her normals are, have pretty solid reach and um, overall I think that uh, she works also just fine but is a little bit harder especially execution wise doing like good combos with her is really hard especially if you're under pressure now let's talk about these two these two are both definitely advanced characters and they both shine the most when they have meters so they are both anchors they you play them at the last spot they both have really fucking good mix-ups and they both deal ridiculous amounts of damage when they hit you and they have meter and they both have extremely good setups to pressure you once you get up when they have meter especially when they have meter and like these two characters just get completely insane absolutely crazy once they have meter it's kind of comparable to him he has the raw damage but what they have is setups and mix-ups. They are everywhere. They are everywhere. Attack you from everywhere. You can't see where it's coming from. They hit you and they just deal so much damage. And then they do a setup and what do you do? You can just block and wait, wait it out. And it's so hard to block them. Because all of a sudden they are behind you. And then they are in front of you again. Like, they come from all the sides. They are all at the same time. You just have to guess sometimes. It's especially if you get caught in the setup. Oh man, you're in for a ride super cheeky resets combo resets that they can do as well Let, just like letting you drop out of a combo but still with the hit of the multi projectile and stuff like that and then just starting all over again with the mix they uh, they just get completely insane it's it's not funny it's not funny to play against one of them if they have meter and they know what they're doing then you know you're in for a ride and uh, yeah that's it with all the characters in Kara 14. I absolutely love this game. Doing these videos was super fun to me. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this. I absolutely did. Um, sadly, the game is kinda dead. No one really plays it nowadays. Um, at least not many people. Next year we get uh, KOF 15, so with that on the horizon like even more people kind of abandon the game which makes sense but to me it's still sad because this game is just very very good it's just
the game the gameplay speaks for itself it's a really really fucking good ma well made game and you can have so much fun with this game so many characters are so cool like there are just a handful of characters where i'm like ah they're not my my thing like her and her are like oh i think they're kind of annoying to deal with and i don't like the design and then we have stuff like um like her or her or for example her where i'm like i i don't really like the play style too much i mean i only showed examples of female characters that i don't like that much but um it has nothing to do with um they're female or not like he for example also isn't really my kind of play style but then again kind of makes sense that there are more female characters that i don't like that much because male characters definitely tend to be the bigger bulkier heavy hitter grappler types which are my favorites so kind of makes sense because most of the time the more agile sometimes projectile based characters are not really what i like too much but then again, we have some female characters in this game as well that I absolutely adore. Like, my absolute favorite, her. Uh, she also is super cool and fun. I really enjoyed playing Metro for a while as well. Like, uh, I kind of think about getting into her, but like, then again, I'm sometimes just looking at this game and I see characters and I'm like, I kind of want to build a team like with Haidan as an anchor and I put her in front or her and then I just think about what I can add, put add some before I can decide on which character I want to put in. I just realize why no one plays this game with me and that's just kind of sad. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video series and um, maybe you're up for some matches in this game, just uh, write me in the comments I or DM me, I don't know. Um, I just would absolutely appreciate to um, have someone to play the game with. I, I have also no problem with teaching the game to someone. And if you enjoyed this video series and you kind of want to see more of this game specifically, um, just say that. Uh, I would be if if there's demand for it, I would be absolutely into like explaining more of how you actually play the game instead of just like showing off what a character does a little bit, like actually explaining a little bit more in depth how you use the basic mechanics of the game to your advantage and stuff like that and uh, how do you build a team maybe uh, maybe also picking a few characters and go in depth on how to play them if you would like to see that just write that I would be absolutely hyped to do it if there's someone in the world who likes KOF 14 or like likes to see me do more KOF 14 stuff just say it I'll be super glad to do it because this game is just a blast and it's so much fun to play and any reason that I can get to play more of this game is a good enough of a reason to do it I hope you enjoyed this video series and uh, I'm going to see you in a different video series or video and goodbye